there. Today we are going to shake it up. Literally, shake it up. We are going to make shakers today. So you're going to need some kind of container in your house. So I have these little lunch containers in all different sizes. Uh, and so that's what I used and they have a really nice tight lid. So let me show you the different sounds that I make. So this one just has little toys and bottle caps and things. So it's all sorts of little sort of junky things, but like little plastic toys. If you have Legos in your house, those would make a great sound. The key ring. Some bottle caps to a juice. Plastic cap to something else. Little keychain. Another cap. Plastic toys. So when I put the lid on nice and tight, In this container, I put little plastic um, pasta. And I also made sure that I did not fill it all the way. If you fill it up all the way, there's no room for it to move. So I only fill it up half halfway. And you can experiment with, mint with how much you want to fill. If you want to fill it with more or less, if you like the sound that way. So here's my pasta. Here's my plastic toys. So materials make a difference in uh, the sound of our instruments. These are little bead containers of tiny little beads. And I liked how one sounded separate. So this is less full, less full. And this one's more full. So here you can tell the difference between less full and more full. And then I liked how they sounded together. So I took the rubber band and I rubber banded these tiny containers together. And then I also have, this has made an appearance, appearance in another video, this uh, jar of coins I'm collecting for a charity. So I have metal in here and I have mostly plastic in here. And I have mostly pasta in here, another different material, right? Um, these are little glass beads. I'd recommend using plastic so you don't break anything, but these are nice and tight in here, so I'm not worried about those. And then the last container I filled might be one of my favorites. It's a nice gentle sound. Do you know what it's full of? Rice. So make sure you have permission to use um, any any ingredients um, and containers. Um, but the nice thing is that this is still nice and clean, so we could still cook it if we wanted it to. And the pasta, what else would make a really good sound? Dried beans, a package of paper clips. There's all sorts of things. So today we're going to use some of these shakers. So let me play all of them right in a row for you so you can hear them. So here are the plastic. The pasta, the beads, the rice, and the coins. Which one's your favorite? So you can pause this video, grab a couple containers, uh, and make your own shaker so that you can sing our next song.